Hello, my name is Emma, and today we're going to learn how to fix the connection refused error. Let's go. The connection refused error is an error message you might see on Google Chrome when trying to access a website. If you use Firefox or Microsoft Edge, you'll find different error variations like, hmm, can't reach this page or unable to connect. This error happens when your browser's attempt to connect to a specific web page is refused. As a result, your browser will display the error message. The connection refused error is a pretty common user side error. It may indicate an issue with your internet connection, web browser, antivirus, firewall, or DNS. In rare cases, this is a server side issue caused by malware attacks, unexpected downtime, or incorrect server settings. Since there are many factors that can cause this error, it can be difficult to tell the exact source. So in this video, I will show you eight ways of fixing the connection refused error. First, let's check whether the website is down. You can use free online tools to check if the website is down. For example, Website Planet, Host Tracker, or Site 24-7. For this video, we'll use Website Planet. First, put in the website's URL, and this tool will tell you the status of the website. Now let's troubleshoot the internet connection. If you're using Windows, open Settings via the Start menu or shortcut key. Navigate to the Network and Internet menu, and then press the Troubleshoot button. Here, select the network adapter you want to troubleshoot and click Next. Wait until it finishes analyzing the issues, and then apply the suggested fixes if the system finds any issues. Now, all you have to do is close the troubleshooter and restart your system. If you're using a Mac OS, First, disconnect all of your external devices, except your keyboard and monitor, and then turn off the system. Then turn the system back on while pressing and holding D to open Apple Diagnostics Utility. Wait until the Apple Diagnostics Utility finishes analyzing all of the issues. And if it finds any issues related to your connection, you will need to apply those suggested fixes. Then reboot the system. Turn off Google synchronization. First, open Google Chrome. Open Settings by clicking the three dots located on the right of the address bar. Go to Sync and Google Services, and then turn off. Visit the web page again to check if the error was solved. Check Google Chrome extensions. Navigate to the Chrome's three dots menu, then to More Tools and to Extensions. Find the extensions you want to uninstall and click Remove. Reinstall Google Chrome. Before reinstalling Google Chrome, Try resetting the browser. First, open Chrome, navigate to the three dots menu, then to settings, and finally to advanced. Click restore settings to their original defaults, then click reset settings. If the issue persists, reinstall Google Chrome, but first download the latest version of Google Chrome. For Windows users, open settings, go to apps, and then apps and features. Search for Google Chrome in the Apple list. Expand the three dots menu and click uninstall. For Mac users, right click the Chrome icon in the dock and then click quit to close the app. Open Finder and click Applications. Find Chrome and drag the icon to the trash. Once the uninstallation process is complete, run the Chrome installer you previously downloaded. Temporarily disable your firewall or antivirus. Disabling antivirus and firewall on Windows. Open your Windows security by navigating to the settings and then to privacy and security. To disable antivirus protection, click virus and threat protection and select manage settings. Switch off real-time protection and then to disable the firewall, go to firewall and network protection. Disable your Microsoft Defender firewall by opening each network profile, domain network, private network, and public network. Disabling firewall on Mac OS. Click the Apple logo, select System Preferences, and navigate to Security and Privacy. Open the Firewall tab, click the lock icon, and enter your username and password. Select Turn Off Firewall, and then click the lock icon again. If you use third-party antivirus and firewall software, check the software's documentation to learn how to turn it off correctly. But you should only disable your antivirus and firewall software temporarily. After trying this method, quickly restore the antivirus and firewall software to its original state. To clear your browser's cache, first open up your Google Chrome. Navigate to the three dots menu, more tools, and then clear browsing data. 
In the time range, select all time. Make sure all of the browsing data, browsing history, cookies, and other site data, as well as the cached images and files are selected. Then click clear data. Flush DNS cache. For Windows users, open the start menu and search for the command prompt. Right click the command prompt icon and select run as administrator. Type in the following command and press enter. Then type this DNS flush command and press enter. For Mac users, click the spotlight search button, search for terminal and open it. Type in this command and press enter. Enter your password to begin the DNS cache flush. Now you know how to fix the error connection refused using eight simple and easy methods. If the error persists, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. See you next time.